I thought I was going to come on here today and talk about trusting the process and talk about how I've been moving through this period of being in the unknown and navigating what that's like. But I'm sitting here right now feeling so uncomfortable because I'm doing something new. And I think that that is what we're going to talk about today is sitting with the discomfort of doing something new, of allowing ourselves to be a beginner. And I suppose it does relate to trusting the process, which is kind of the topic I thought I would come on here and talk about today. But it is trusting the process because starting anything new being a beginner at anything or whether we're changing direction in life moving onto a new path moving into a new way of doing things a new way of being is uncomfortable change is uncomfortable and it is really allowing ourselves to step into new territory that perhaps we haven't ever explored before. So I'm just going to get comfortable now. I'm going to take a sip of tea and let's talk about this because this is really part of trusting the process. And I have a vision. (laughs) I have a vision. I have a dream for a kind of world that I want to create of my own. I've been talking a lot about this on my social media lately, particularly on TikTok. I've been talking about how I have found it so hard to try and label myself, to try and fit myself into a box, to try and categorize who I am as a creator, as a human being, as a person navigating life and as a creative, as someone who really just is so driven to create, so driven to express myself, so driven to make things and want to share things. And, you know, it's been this journey of just feeling like, where do I fit? Feeling like, I don't know how to define myself. And I really have come to a place of letting go, letting go of needing to define myself and needing to come up with some sort of perfect definition or description or way of describing who I am. I've spent so much of my life feeling misunderstood. So there has been this immense pressure for me to try and define myself in order to feel like I make sense, feel like people understand me. But as I've kind of been talking about this and exploring this and sharing about this creatively in all different ways on my social media, TikTok, on the podcast, if you've been following for a while, you've heard the whole journey. You've probably seen how I've kind of just been like figuring it out, trying to find or come to a place of understanding and meaning. And I think that that in itself has brought a lot of clarity for me is realizing that there is no way that we can define ourselves really. There is no way that we can properly sum up into a succinct definition of who we are because we are so complicated and we are multifaceted and we do have all of these different parts of us that want to be expressed and want to be seen and want to be shared with the world. And so that in itself has given me this vision, this idea to kind of break away from needing to define it and to create my own little world, this world that I want to see. You know, I think about the person I was five years ago, 10 years ago. I think about this young woman who had so many different interests and hobbies and didn't know where to invest my time and energy and felt just like confused by the fact that there's so many options and I don't know how to I don't know which option to choose I don't know which path to take and 
feeling like there was something wrong with me because I couldn't just pick one career and I felt so unfulfilled when I did try and choose a career and I did try and follow a certain path and I think about that young woman and I think about what she would have needed <laughs> I'll be back okay you can't come back in because I'm recording okay where were we and now it's getting dark because I sat here for like 20 minutes trying to talk about something and it just wasn't flowing and it just wasn't it just wasn't coming anyway I think about this young woman and what she would have needed and I think about the fact that I felt so anxious and I felt so misplaced and like I didn't fit in and I felt misunderstood and I felt so sensitive I am and I have been so sensitive my whole life I feel things deeply and I pick up other people's energies and that can be really overwhelming I get so easily overstimulated and I get so easily swept up in what's happening around me and so I just think about this woman that I was and this woman that I still am and this younger version of myself that just wanted to feel safe really just wanted to feel safe to explore all the different parts of myself that wanted to feel safe to be myself that wanted to feel safe to slow it down you know not have to do all the things and to feel the pressure and the stress and the busyness of the world and who just wanted to or would have really needed a space to just be, a space to slow down, a space to be present and to explore all these different things. And that is really what I want to create here now. I cannot define myself and I cannot pick one niche, pick one type of content or box. And I tried to do it for many years. If you have been around for a while, you would know about how I started this YouTube channel if you're watching on YouTube um, and if you're listening on the podcast, I started out creating nail art designs and that was a beautiful journey and that was so much fun. That was such an exciting time of my life, but I came to this place where I just felt like so stuck. I felt all this pressure to kind of confine myself to this one thing that I had been creating and that people had known me for for so many years and I felt really stuck and I felt really unhappy for a long time feeling like I was a failure because I wanted to change direction feeling like I was a disappointment and like I was letting people down because people knew me in a certain way and had this expectation of me and what I was creating and making and where I am now who I am now <laughs> can look back and just think Oh, it's just so ridiculous like I just wish I felt safe to branch out and I just wish there was someone who had said you don't have to be one thing you can be all of it you can try all the different things you can play with all the different forms of creativity you can express yourself in so many different ways and there is no one path for you and there isn't supposed to be. There really isn't supposed to be one clear path and that's okay. I just wish there was someone to tell me that you don't have to confine yourself or limit yourself or define yourself or label yourself. You are free to just be who you are and you are free to try all of the things and you are free to just have fun and play and explore and so now I am that is what I'm creating that is what I'm doing here and I'm so excited and I feel just like invigorated with this new sense of clarity this new vision of what it is that I want to create this little world of its own and at the same time I am afraid it's scary because I am stepping out into the unknown there is no guarantee whenever we step out onto a new path there is no guarantee that it will work 
as creatives, as artists, there is never, ever a guarantee that what we are creating will be successful. And what even is success? I mean, I'm coming to see that just creating, just making what is on our hearts and putting it out there and sharing it and being vulnerable and being open and being honest is success because there are so many people who are afraid to do that and i know that there are so many reasons so many things that can hold us back you know the pressure to live the pressure to survive the pressure to make money to support our families to take care of the people in our life all of the different responsibilities that each and every one of us has and i heard a little while ago something along the lines of if we have the privilege to contemplate what is my purpose who am i why am i here then we also have a responsibility to pursue that if we have even just the smallest moment of time that we can ponder and contemplate and think about what it is that we truly want to create and who we really came here to be and it doesn't have to be an artist it doesn't have to be some big idea you know this this idea of what it is to be a success or to pursue our dreams or to follow through on our dreams it can just be in the smallest of ways that we can show up as ourselves each and every day and this is the vision this is the vision that I have for this platform for whoever is listening and watching today I just really want to be that voice that I needed five years ago when I was leaving a really unhealthy marriage having someone to say it is okay you will be okay you will find someone who loves you more than you can ever imagine and you will be okay and you will lose people and you will lose friends and you will be misunderstood but being misunderstood will be worth it for what's on the other side of this and it's what I wish I could tell my younger self 15 years ago who was starting my career you will pursue your own things and it will be hard and it will be uncomfortable because there won't be a clear path but that's also okay as well and I wish I could tell my little child inner child younger self that Oh, that she's beautiful and that she's enough and that she is worthy and that she will live so many lives she will follow and pursue so many different paths and she will forge her own path and I wish I could tell her that there isn't one path <laughs> that there is no one way to do life and that is the beauty of it that there is no one way to do this we are each discovering what it means to live a fulfilled life what it means to live a purposeful meaningful life in our own ways and it's going to look so different to each and every one of us and so that's what I have for you today thank you so much for joining me thank you for being here thank you for being you and just sending you all of my love I'm really excited to share more with you soon to begin to branch out a little more into this new vision that I have for this platform and I have some really exciting things that I'm working on but I'm working on them really slowly and that feels really good as well to have this idea of what it is that I want to create but to not feel this pressure and this rush to have to do it all now and to just go at it at my own pace and to trust in the timing and to trust that things will happen as they're supposed to and so we will talk a bit more soon about trusting the process that is something I definitely want to talk about and watching this process unfold watching it unfold all right Sending you all my love. Look forward to talking to you again soon. Take care. Bye for now.